me in. No soccer inside. House rules, girls. Sorry, Mom. Oh, I mean, Sam. And I thought living without parents was going to be fun. Here's the thing. Even though we live on our own, we need rules. Because without <gasps> rules, there's chaos. Hello? Look around this place. It's a total dump. If we follow this chart, the house will be clean in no time. Clover, you're on bathroom duty. Ew, it smells in there. Alex, since today is the second odd Wednesday of the month, you get to clean the gutters. Okay. That's a gutter. It's time to find out. Okay, how come you're not on the chart? That is the kind of attitude that got this house messy in the first place. Now let's get cleaning. supplies I ordered from IGotMessyRoommates.com. Um, hello, Mr. Mailboy. This is the address to the house across the street. <laughs> ah! Looks like somebody can't take a little criticism. <clears throat> Talk about disgruntled postal employees. Nice to see you, girls. Cool tank. It's filled with specimens from the Indian Ocean. And nasty fish gunk. Not for long. Oh, Gladys! Hey, Jer, does she clean bathrooms? And gutters? I don't do gutters. Neither does Alex. I see that living together has done wonders for your friendship. Okay, get this. We were cleaning the house because Miss Slave Driver here is totally against fun. And then? And then this crazed mailman smashed a hole through our wall. And then he threw a fridge at us. But the weirdest thing is he just disappeared without a trace. Oh, hey. Maybe he did leave a trace. That's not mildew? Quite sure. It's an unknown metal-based substance that has been traced to three locations. You girls will look for clues at its source. Please be somewhere fabulous. The first is a sulfur mine in northern Uzbekistan. P.U. The second is a sewage treatment facility in New Brunswick. Ah! We'll take number three. A wise choice. You girls are off to an abandoned wig factory. <laughs> On this mission, you will have the following gadgets. The Wind Tunnel 9000 hairdryer, the Biolab watch, and our newest device, the Quick Slick. Gladys, if you would. I apologize in advance. Why did she apologize? Because the Quick Slick is equipped with a supply of extra slippery crude oil. Press here. Please, 
is creepier than a sci-fi convention. We got company. Ah! We're not going to get any information out of this one. <sighs> the floor sounds different here. Really? Let me try. Maybe it's a secret door. But how do we open it? <laughs> After all, a school night. I'll check it out. Now all my plans are ruined. For a lousy criminal, you're like really lousy. And what's with the wig? A little style never hurt. <gasps> That's something you girls will never understand. <laughs> Look who I found! A real mailman! So you were behind the attack at our house? You are good. Save your breath. I'm not going to explain it. Let's call Jerry to send someone to pick up Scam. Then we have got to get home to separate our recyclables. Oh. I'm glad we got rid of Tim Scam. That guy's like a nasty cold sore that never seems to go away. So what are taffy? It's full of energy for soccer practice. Want one? I say no thanks. And my dentist says no thanks. Ready. We need to practice. Remember, co-ed. <laughs> Just try and stop me.
stuff that Scan was making in his lab. Hmm. It looks like it can absorb the DNA of whatever it comes into contact with. And we've seen it can make things into nastier versions of themselves. <laughs> What's that all about? Sorry! Um, running for your life sure builds up an appetite. Now. Oh, it's only you, Arnold. Hey, girls. Great to see you here. Now we can all study for next week's test together. Yeah, that's an idea, Arnold. Why don't you run to the calf and pick us up some study muffins? Hey, what's happening back there? Get out of here! You can study tomorrow! safely locked up in his usual isolation, so... Hmm? Don't tell me he's turned invisible! Mind if we crash your little party? Sam! What are you doing with that low life? <laughs> this isn't Sam. This is something better, stronger, meaner. What happened to the real Sam? <laughs> I don't know. Don't care. Then why is she cleaning Jerry's office? For, uh, reasons beyond your understanding. And like all of my metal clones, she exists for one reason. To destroy... Whoop. <laughs> Not so fast, agents. Behold, Scamlar. Scamlar? Oh, that'll really catch on. Oh, where does the time go? They grow up so fast, don't they?
hate this situation wasn't covered in our training manual. Remind me to add it in later, if there is a later. At last, Whoop is finished. These creatures are unstoppable! They can't be. Every being has a weakness. Oh, of course! Remember what happened to Arnold? My saltwater taffy vaporized him! This won't stop all of them. <laughs> Sorry, Jerry. Gladys, where's the sprinkler pipe? It's right over there. as you see fit. Yeah. We'd better get back and find out where Sam is. Maybe you could bring her back here. This office is a mess. Mailman's visit. Yeah, okay, Sam. Clover, you pick up the broken stuff. Alex, you wash the floors. Ugh, oh, go away, Sam. We're exhausted. Saving Whoop took a lot out of us. Well, once I cleaned up the closet in the lab, I had nothing to do, so I am just full of energy. Cleaning energy. Ugh, I don't want to hear any more about clean. Uh, whoa! whoa. <gasps> this place is filthy. And the mailman never even came in here. Honestly, I was going to clean that up later today. Really? I think you'll need this. And this. Mm -hmm. uh. Without rules, there is chaos. It's a proven fact. And if I can help the girls by asking them to do a few chores... <gasps> Oh, okay, so Clover totally busted me when she saw my room was a mess, but hello, rude much? Like, you don't just snoop around someone's room, even if the door's open. That is total private territory unless it's so urgent, like you need another number two pencil or your science experiment got loose and took off in the house, and... Uh-oh, that reminds me. I better return Clover's sweater before she realizes it's missing. <laughs> what? It was an emergency. 